Good morning everyone, welcome to Reema and all that jazz. My name is Reema and today I'm going to review a Indian homegrown makeup brand called Blur. Um, I had put out um, in my Instagram stories, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. It also goes by the name of Reema and all that jazz. Now Blur is a brand uh, that I came across very recently and I ordered a couple of products and I wanted to do a review uh, of those products uh, and share with you guys what I feel my first impressions so a little bit about the brand uh, whatever I have read up whatever I've gone to their website and seen um, it's an Indian homegrown brand uh, which I love uh, it is vegan uh, that uh, it is uh, you know free of all the nasties and of course it is uh, cruelty free so I am getting more and more as I mentioned before also into clean makeup uh, you know uh, which I think in today's world that's the more healthiest route to go but that doesn't mean I've thrown out all my other makeup but yes I am uh, kind of discovering new homegrown clean brands so anyways so blur is something that caught my attention now when I went to their Instagram page uh, I was very intrigued and then I uh, went through the products and you know what caught my eye was the, their quirky uh, one-liners in their packaging it reminded me a lot uh, it's not similar but uh, if some of you are aware of the brand called the balm it has very very quirky packaging with uh, you know one-liners and uh, stuff like that and very innovative names so this brand kind of called out to me and uh, I uh, the name called out to me the the lines called out to me so anyways so I the first thing I want to share is the mascara now if you see the packaging of the product it is just a simple white packaging it has blur written on it and this is the outer packaging now I love what it says it says don't touch my lashes honey I tend to lash out uh, it is so cool man uh, and uh, over here is the ingredients list and also it has uh, a line which says hey boo welcome to the blur fam I think this is a very very nice uh, packaging uh, very quirky my type of packaging and then I got this this is their three nude so it, it, it's uh, three nude lipsticks uh, and it's called thinking about my and that's in bracket nudes it's the birthday suit collection uh, it says um, three classic nudes for nude sorry for all your needs it is matte it is moisturizing and it is effing perfect I effing love it uh, again it has the ingredients list um, how to go about it it has hey boo welcome to the blur family and it um, has all the contact details and everything if you want to get in touch for queries and stuff okay so the mascara is something that I have on my uh, eyes guys you have to excuse the lighting uh, today uh, a cyclone is supposed to sweep by uh, my city which is Kolkata and that's why it is very very cloudy outside and I am filming uh, almost a natural light I just have one tube at the end of the room which is lit uh, because otherwise it would have been very dark but I thought I'll get the review across and uh, share it with you guys I was very excited now now these are the lipsticks Okay, excuse my nails because uh, in the lockdown I uh, I can't find my uh, nail polish uh, remover I've ordered it it has still not come so you have to excuse my nails but let's focus on the products here uh, this 
is the three trio liquid lipsticks and oh my god i love this it's called call me daddy oh my god the person who came up with these names and the packaging i, I mean kudos to you man you're my kind of guy or gal so uh so it has these numbers uh, this doesn't have a number but i'm guessing this is number 3 uh so this is 1 2 and 3 their claim is that these lipsticks uh would suit across all spectrum of indian skin tones because it is made for indian skin tones so let's try out the first lipstick call me daddy in number 1 I love the packaging. Very simple packaging. You can see the color. It feels so lightweight on the lips. guys i have pigmented lips if you don't have pigmented lips uh the color will look a little different on you i always do this with liquid lipsticks because i don't like that sticky feeling let it dry a li little bit this is the this is with one coat so i'm going to try a second coat but all i can say is this color is my lips but better and this color uh if you are going for like i have no i haven't gone for a smoky eye but i have put on a green eye shadow to complement my dress i've put on a winged liner uh so and i put on the mascara at the bottom lashes but i'll come to that in a while this would look nice this is the second coat i'm loving the shade i usually not a big fan of nude shades but i was so intrigued with their claim i thought let me try it now i think this is going perfectly with the look that i have on so if you have uh you know done up your eyes this shade would look amazing who's your daddy now okay. anyway so <laughs> this i love i love and love and the best part is it feels very lightweight on the lips it does not cling together and will give you butthole lips is it drying no uh yeah it is not moisturizing because any liquid lipstick won't be moisturizing it is matte of course fully matte but it is not excessively dry on the lips uh, not at all it's quite comfortable on my lips and trust me i have not scrubbed my lips or put any lip balm or anything like that i'm too lazy to do that most of the time so there you go i will put on the next lipstick As you can see I have cleaned out my lips I have used this Garnier micellar water with a cotton pad uh let's go on to the second call me daddy uh the first one was a cool tone nude so it was a mauveish cool tone nude the second one it is a much warmer nude it's like a pinky peachy nude
this is the second one it dries out a little fast so you have to work with it this is a much warmer nude uh, it's a pink as I said with a warm peachy undertone oh god all the doors are closing and opening anyways uh, okay again does not stick comfortable fairly comfortable on the lips and I love this color as well you know uh, with nudes I am always skeptical who I like to try out nudes uh, but I'm always very skeptical because I just feel I am an NC 42 for reference in Mac uh, a 3110 in Maybelline 3.1 in pack so these are the basic references uh, in Bobbi Brown uh, sometimes I am warm neutral and sometimes I'm honey depending on uh, the type of foundation in the serum foundation I am in the shade honey but in the stick one I am in warm neutral 4.5 I think okay enough of the references so you got my skin tone and if you are my skin tone uh, or a little darker it would look nice uh, Now, even if you're like dusky, I think this would suit you. What you can do is you can wear it with a darker, maybe a dark brick lip liner or maybe, yeah, I think a dark brick lip liner. But these, since these are news guys, uh, oh, guys, I would suggest please do up your eyes and then wear it. It would really complement the eye look as I think it's doing today so anyways this is number two I'm just gonna wipe off and come back with number three just wanted to show you guys this is really really easy to take off you don't have to like tug on your lips it's gone yeah okay number three where is number three so the shade you can see it's a transparent um, tube so easily visible which I like I love the packaging it's very clean it, it does it, the packaging uh, the main packaging inside doesn't have like too much written it just has the brand name and of course here call me daddy I just love this name but uh, yeah I love I love the packaging of course this as well so this is number three this I would say is more towards peachy yeah peaches all the way it's actually brickish honestly it's it's a brickish nude Call it a peachy nude also. Whatever works for you. I'm gonna let this dry a bit and then I might go in with a second time uh, coat. Uh, so what I feel about this, I like this as well. All the three colors, what I feel, would really, really complement uh, medium to tan to a certain level of dusky skin tone. Now, very, very dusky skin tones. I am not sure how these three will fare or will look, but you never know. Because I, I have seen people who are like, far more duskier than me rock nudes that I would not even think about rocking so in that way I would say they have come up with a fairly fairly versatile collection of nudes 
I think this is dried up. I can keep it like this or if I want I can go ahead with a second coat. You know guys the best thing about this is even when I'm applying like this and that and it uh, it's not clumping up or anything because the formula is very light to it. pigmentation is quite good uh, but because my upper lips is quite pigmented therefore uh, I had to put on a second coat uh, if you don't have much pigmentation on your lips you can leave it at the first so uh, okay now I'm done with the liquid lipsticks and I like them you know I, I actually like them I like uh, the fact that uh, they are very easy to apply and to take off uh, because trust me some liquid lipsticks like you know like all night you are wiping 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 uh, it really takes a toll on the lips but I did swatch these three and my lips feel fine uh, I love the fact that because it's an Indian homegrown brand they have actually done their research uh, in picking out these three colors uh, so kudos to them for that uh, the formulation as I said I really like it lightweight non-sticky um, and because it's a vegan a product uh, it is cruelty free is it uh, yeah made with love in India so I am really liking this now guys you can wear it with a lip liner if you want more definition I did not use a lip liner today because that would be a bit of cheating isn't it because uh, that would not give the accurate color this is how the accurate color looks on me on my lips I've already mentioned my uh, skin tone so now coming to the mascara okay Uh, what was it again yeah I tend to lash out now I have that mascara on my eyes okay I have it on my lower uh, lash line as well what I would love to say uh, you know what I'd like to say about this mascara is you know sometimes I have very my eyes become extremely sensitive and by that especially with the mascara I don't have much problem when I wear kajal or eyeliner but the moment I'll put mascara on my lashes you know they'll all just come running down you know and I'll look like a raccoon and it happens from time to time I don't know why it happens but the moment I put a, and it's not um, it's not that uh, you know I have not used that mascara before but it does happen that my eyes become too sensitive at times what I liked about this mascara is uh, that I the, the consistency of this mascara is a little watery so maybe you know after some time it will dry down a bit um, and I hope it does because I don't love too much of watery mascaras uh, a little bit dried down kind of I feel works for me but what I really liked about this mascara is that when I put it in my eyes sorry put it on my lashes I did not feel any irritation I put two coats of this I did not feel any heaviness on my lashes I it did not clump up at all so this mascara I feel is a very nice mascara if you want very natural looking lashes uh, without too much of the clump uh, without the clump at all actually and I hate clump so if people like me who want to do like you know day to day makeup uh, or uh, you know yeah you can build this up you can put like four coats of this and uh, it would uh, obviously it's buildable but I would suggest uh, like for uh, not I would suggest but for a person like me who likes to keep the you know look as natural as possible 
uh, I really really uh, like this mascara for the fact that uh, it uh, you know kind of gives my lashes a very separated clump free look uh, in terms of volumizing um, I don't know how much it is visible here but in terms of volumizing I don't think it does that much but yes uh, that's why I said for day-to-day -day mascara I would recommend this uh, because it is a very nice clean hassle-free mascara and I have that on my lower lash line as well and as you can see uh, it looks nice so this can be used for both lash lines uh, okay so these were my first impression my initial thoughts about the brand uh, let me know what you guys feel if you have used blur um, and if you want to use blur um, you can use my code uh, which I'll leave on the screen and in the description box below as well um, it is an affiliate code yes it is uh, and by that what happens is if you shop with that code we both help each other you get a 10% off and I get a bit of commission uh, but, but that's like uh, very negligible but it does help me out so if you want to buy uh, you can avail my code overall I am impressed with the brand I think for an Indian brand um, to come up with such quirky names and you know it gives a very international feel uh, the packaging the names everything and uh, blur has also other products they have uh, lipsticks like the ones on in the tubes uh, you can check out their website they are on insta uh, you can check them out uh, there uh, as blur india i think uh, and uh, like you can try maybe one or two for yourself uh, they were having a good offer so I picked them up uh, at uh, a good offer price I got this mascara actually free uh, with my purchase of the three nude lipsticks which came as a set so I hope you enjoyed the video I'm once again uh, apologies for the lighting but I just wanted to put the video out there because it was very very excited to review this brand because I'm all for Indian brands I'm a proud Indian and I'm all for promoting Indian brands so I love it and if team blur if you're watching this um, I hope you like my review I'm just starting out uh, I've just only done few videos in YouTube so uh, if I'm not perfect you have to excuse me but I try to review your brand as best as possible so thank you and if you like this video please 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 subscribe like and click on the bell icon so you receive notifications when I for, uh, for my you know further videos that I will upload also follow me my, on my insta email all that jazz because I do post uh, quite a lot over there as well thank you have a great day please stay safe and wear your mask speaking of wearing your mask the most important part this these lipsticks are transfer proof they are smudge proof they won't come off and i'm just going to quickly do a mask test my initial hardly anything like hardly and I was like really pressing on uh, my lipstick in a mask you don't like even if it's there because of your nose it doesn't stick to your lips but I would still say it is mask friendly but definitely it is kiss proof and transfer resistant for sure this was my honest review uh, keep watching stay safe wear your mask Bye-bye.